আসসালামু আলাইকুম দিস ইস মঞ্জুর আলম বিফোর ইউ হেডমাস্টার বিএডিসি হাই স্কুল মিরপুর ঢাকা ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু দি ক্লাস অফ কন্ডিশনাল সেন্টেন্সেস পার্ট টু আই হ্যাভ অলরেডি ডিসকাসড অ্যাবাউট দি জিরো কন্ডিশনাল অ্যান্ড ফার্স্ট কন্ডিশনাল ইন মাই প্রিভিয়াস ক্লাস টুডে আই উইল টক অ্যাবাউট দি সেকেন্ড কন্ডিশনাল অ্যান্ড থার্ড কন্ডিশনাল দিস ইজ দি মোস্ট ইম্পর্টেন্ট কনসেপ্ট অফ ইংলিশ গ্রামার দিস লেসন ইজ অবভিয়াসলি হেল্পফুল ফর ইম্প্রুভিং দি স্পিকিং স্কিল সো আই আর্নেস্টলি রিকোয়েস্ট টু ওজ দিস ভিডিও ফ্রম দি বিগিনিং টু ইন্ট আই হ্যাভ শো না টেবিল হিয়ার টু ইজি আইডেন্টিফিকেশন অফ স্ট্রাকচার অফ দি সেকেন্ড কন্ডিশনাল অ্যান্ড third conditional and also i show characteristics of both conditional sentences first we will learn about the second conditional here i see that in second conditional if clause contain if plus past simple and the main clause contain conditional past that means after subject we will use would plus base form of the verb and the main characteristics of this conditional sentence is that this conditional is actually unreal conditional this is not real this types of conditional sentences show the normal imagination of the past so here i have written this is not real the sentence express the unreal situation and this is the normal imagination of the past we will be clear through the example about the second conditional here i have shown three examples in first example i have written if you invited me i would come here i use invited in if clause after if i have used here invited that means past form of the verb and in the main clause i use would plus base form of the verb in the table i have shown if clause contain if plus past simple here after subject i have used past form of the verb that means this clause contain if plus past simple and the main clause contain conditional past that means would plus base form of the verb in second sentence if this happened that would happen through the second sentence i have shown the original character of the second conditional if this happened that would happen this is the character of the second conditional and in the third example i have written if i own the lottery i would buy a car after subject i have used past form of the verb that means past simple and in the main clause i have used would plus base form of the verb would plus base form of the verb so what we learned from the second conditional we learned from here that if clause contain if plus past simple and the main clause contain would plus past form of the verb now we will discuss about the third conditional what is the character of third conditional 
in third conditional if clause contain if plus past perfect that that means after if we will use had plus verb 3 on the other hand main clause contain conditional perfect that means we will use would have could have or might have and after would have could have might have we will use verb 3 that means past participle of the verb and what is the characteristics of third conditional actually third conditional express the past unreal condition this is just the imagination of past situation this is not a real conditional in second conditional we have seen that second conditional is not a real conditional on the other hand third conditional also an unreal conditional but i think that there is a few differences between second conditional and third, third conditional in my personal opinion i think that a few possibility have in the second conditional but there is no possibility in the third conditional it is just a past imagination but not anything but in second conditional this is imagination in general a few possibility have in the second conditional but there is no possibility in the third conditional this is the basic difference between second conditional and third conditional here i have written two examples of third conditional if you had worked hard you would have passed in the examination here i use had plus worked that means after if i have used past perfect tense from the table we learned that if plus past perfect per, if plus past perfect that means if clause contain if plus past perfect here we see that if plus here we see that if plus past perfect past perfect means had plus verb 3 and in the main clause I have used would have plus verb 3 from the table we learned that in the main clause of third conditional conditional perfect will be used that means would have could have or might have will be used and after would have could have might have verb 3 will be used i have used here would have and after would have i have used past that means verb 3 so this is the example of third conditional in second example if i had spoken english my father would have got a, got satisfied here after subject had plus verb 3 has been used that means past perfect tense had plus verb 3 means past perfect tense on the other hand main clause would have would have has been used here and after would have verb 3 has been used so this is the character of third conditional so what we learned from the third conditional in third conditional if clause contain if plus past perfect tense and the main clause contain would have could have or might have and after would have could have and might have verb 3 will be used this is the characteristics of third conditional what we have learned from the example this is all about the second conditional and third conditional dear students see you again in next class 
till then stay home and connected with us